Hello guys, I'm Derek Chris, back again with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Now this time I am going to be converting from day to night the cheap and fast method. It might not be the best method out there, but yeah, it's cheap and it's fast. Quite easy actually, with just one node. So let's begin. What exactly is the difference between daytime and nighttime? To be honest, not quite much because yes, the sun is big and large and it's way brighter than the moon but it's far away really really far away and the moon is 400 times closer than the sun is to earth so they are basically the same thing in the sky the main difference between uh the daytime and the nighttime when it comes to lighting is ambience so ambient light is the major difference between day and night now what do i mean by ambient light well first of all if you look during the day you will see that not just the sun but the sky is also uh, illuminating the earth. So you have the sun rays coming, hitting the, the clouds and it spreads and fills in the shadows. So during the day, you can see deep into shadows more than you can at night. Now, because the moon is smaller, it doesn't have that much uh, brightness and that much spread to really illuminate the sky. Now it does, but really, really little not as much as the sun does so you don't really get to see deep into the shadows now there are other little differences but this is just the major difference between uh daytime and night so now let's try to replicate exactly that in uh color grading software which is davinci resolve 18.5.1 i think mm -hmm. yeah now this is the footage from the from the king feature i'm pretty sure you have seen it this is it in the raw format and we are just going to achieve the day to night look like we did in the film in just one node, maybe one or two, I don't know, but just one node. Now, let's go. So we are going to add a node here, what S as you usually know, and then we'll just go to enable it, primary, simple as that. So first things first, we have to convert this uh, flat, this raw flat looking uh, image to uh, proper Rec. 709. And we will do that. And now my usual color reading, I usually go from uh, I had the CST, you know, senior film law, film print emulation, but now I'm not doing any of that crap. I'm just going straight to apply lot. Bam. This is this is pretty much it. And now we've converted to Rec 709. So the lot it's is applying. You can find it here. It comes with DaVinci on that black magic design. It's a uh, black magic film to something. I think it's Gen 5. Let me look for it. Yeah, super. So this is Gen 5 film to video. It basically converts it from you know Rec 709 from film from flat profile to a Rec 709 uh, profile. Now let's say that my computer is really on fire right now and it's screaming. The fans are screaming. So now that we have that and we have our highlight recovery turned on, it does not really do much in this footage, but I just like the way it turned on. I right, so 160. Uh, we change it normally if you import your footage to DaVinci Resolve it will kind of be either one of these so you just have to select clip and then you have this uh, you have access to all these options so remember we are we're grading a black magic uh, footage so it's a bureau footage and apply lots you can you can kind of replicate the exact same thing in other camera profiles like you shot with an ARRI or RED or even uh, a canon i mean the lower grade canons you know the entry level canon cameras you can replicate it you just have to look for uh different settings but right now i'm working with the bureau footage so now that i have all this selected first things first i just take my color temperature down basically to the the, the lowest so i have to reduce my playback to half so that my computer can you know work in this it's not the best computer ever so now after doing that, we'll have a cool temperature that kind of replicates the um, moonlight we see because moonlight is kind of cool. It's not exactly blue in real life, but this is, uh, yeah, when it comes to film, this works. So now let's take our exposure down. Maybe about here. Okay. I think here it's fine. And my computer is really, really slow. So let's see. Make it half a quarter and see if that will be faster. Oh, you know what? Just give me a moment. Okay, it's already 1920 by 1080, so it should work. So now that we've taken this down, 
you can see it's already looking kind of good we haven't used this node yet so i'm just working on the camera roll which is not really utilize this node i can turn that off and on and it makes no difference let's save that so now that we have this here now i want to utilize this so this is pretty much all i'm going to touch here okay except this i might just add it to be more contrast maybe something like eight or ten and find that and now we go into our primary wheels now as you can see what i'm doing is i am killing the shadows so i do not want to see uh detail in the shadows because during the night time we don't see as much detail as we do during the daytime so i want to kill a lot of this ambience that's here so the way i'm going to do that i uh, will take my lift down not too much take my gamma yes bring my lift back up a bit come up back up a bit now you are allowed to take it down as much as you like i mean even if it's almost pitch black because i've seen a lot of films that are really really dark and difficult to see but if you want to do it the real professional way and the real good way i would suggest that when you are shooting during the daytime and you know you're shooting for a day for night scene you should kind of add extra lights on the faces so that when in grade in post you're trying to kill this ambience you still have a lot of lights illuminating the face so you can add that with like a reflector or maybe an extra light so that um you have a lot of light but you know i didn't do that so let's let's work with what we have so now we'll take this down even more to really kill it not so much that you cannot see anything at all then boost this up check this down add a bit more contrast here then in my curves, I won't really do much here. Just want to give it this vintage look a bit. Now you can see doing this is really killing it. So I just do it a little bit. Oh my, undo. Okay. So I just do it a little bit here and then take this down back. Now this is way too much. So drop it a bit. Yeah, I'm found here. It's just a little bit, but it works. So now, as yes, you can see, I'm pretty much done. Now, if um, if you want to do it the better way, you can try your best to avoid things like this, where the look will, this doesn't really sell the look, the believability, so you can try to avoid things like this. If you do that, you can pretty much sell that this is day for night, this is actually a night uh, shoot, or maybe late evening or early morning. But yeah, this is the best uh, we can get currently. It's quick, it's fast, and it's easy. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the before, and this is the after. Kind of good. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is the very quick and easy way to turn day to night in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you guys for watching. I am Derek Chris. Goodbye.